Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Here's Camp Grizzly expansion number five, rated R. Gonna come in a blister pack as all the expansions have up to this point. We'll open up, we'll take a look and see what's inside. Okay, let's take a look at the new rules. You have Snuff Deck. When a counselor dies, you draw a card from the Snuff Deck. Snuff cards depict the result of Otis's handiwork, otherwise stated. Snuff cards remain in play for the remainder of the game. We thought you were dead when negate a snuff card. Evil Jason. Jason becomes a killer. The player remains in control, but must attack any counselor. Cameo or rival killer they cross paths with. Jason no longer draws cabin cards. Use the stalk attack and damage stats. No cards can be played against Otis, can be played against killers, Evil Jason, or Big Wayne. You're going to get one survival card in this deck. You're going to have what's called a cutter. It's a permanent ability. You may cause yourself one injury at the beginning of every turn. If you die as a result of the injury, no snuff card will be drawn. And you may give your belongings to the other players. You are still included in the body count. So that's the one survival card. You're going to have a number of cabin cards that will be in the deck. Let's take a look at these. You're freezing. Raise the body count by one. You begin fooling around. You're horrified. Tempt fate five. Each counselor must roll a ten. Is moved to that nature trail. It's a search party. Then you're going to have snapped. Place this card in front of you. Whenever you cross paths another counselor, that counselor takes one injury. Cameos campers are immediately killed. Discard snaps when you have killed a counselor. Then you are horrified. Otis disarmed. Otis strikes. The first counselor to panic is reduced by one hand for the purpose of equipping weapons. Place this card on the counselor for tracking purposes. Lung capacity. You're dragged to the swimming area. Woo. Drowning. When drowning a counselor, it will not stalk, and the counselor may only struggle. So when you struggle, you roll the die, and you may get an injury or move three spaces away. And you have Big Wayne, which is going to be the new cameo that will be in this one. It looks a lot like Burt Reynolds. Uh, place Big Wayne's pawn on this space. Stalk two. Target counselor. Cross paths. You will fight Otis and attack lone counselors using an eight-sided die. If you panic, one injury and horrify, then full around temp fate. He's killed if you ever lose a fight. Of course, Burt Reynolds wants to fool around, right? So when a character dies, you'll be drawing from this snuff deck. So let's take a look and see what's in here. Uh, Bear-skinned rug. <laughs> yeah, that's Burt Reynolds. Every counselor must discard a survival card, then discard this card. You got the classic buried alive. Roll a 10-sided die. If you end their move on that nature trail, you return to the game with one health remaining. If you're not rescued within three rounds, you are dead. Chipper Shredder. For the rest of the game, counselors who are killed in this cabin must discard their weapons. Chubby Bunny, Otis rerolls all ones for the rest of the game. For the rest of the game, Horrified Token is not removed at the end of a counselor's turn. 100 Yard Honey, for the rest of the game, counselors are moved to the woods on a roll one or two and attempting to cross a nature trail. Pizza Party, Ooh, look at that. Oof. For the rest of the game, an additional objective of any type is required to start a finale. Puppet Show, for the rest of the game, counselors that panic must discard the campers. All cameos in camp are immediately killed, discard this card. For the rest of the game, when fighting in the cabin, discard your equipped weapons, and the result is a 1. For the rest of the game, counselors draw an additional card when tempting fate. So those are the snuff cards. Here's the new character, Jason, which will have his own standee. He's not very strong, 3-2-1-3. He's about normal. He's a Fright fan. Whenever Jason would be horrified, draw a survivor card instead. Once per source, he comes unhinged. He would please one, plus 1 to his rolls for each snuffed card in play. But whenever a snuffed card is drawn, you roll a 6-sided die on a 6 he becomes a killer, so he'll turn against the people in the game. And then if Jason becomes desynthesized, his abilities have no effect. He has a panic of three. Very interesting character to play as because he kind of adds that uh, mechanic in of the traitor that came with the third expansion. But here you have a character who starts out good, so you know exactly who could flip. And you have to be careful of him at all times. So in this expansion, you get more of these uh, finales. Uh, some of you may not want to know what these are, but because this is such a hard expansion to find, some of you might want to know what these are. So if you don't want spoilers, fast forward to the conclusion, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you what these show. So three, two, one, spoilers. The first one is the van. You're going to pick up some hitchhikers, flat tire, draw cabin cards until you find a cameo, plastic cameo on the table. You look awful, place five cabin cards face down a row. You may discard a card from the backpack to reveal a face down card. You're in some sort of trouble, add one more face down card. It may only be revealed by a virgin. And the group must choose to attack or trust a person. And you have a die roll. And if you're correct, you're blamed for the local murders. The council in the camp win the game. I knew it. The council in the van are, are win, win. Any council that left behind is the end. So if you attack them, if you have a weapon, you may kill the driver, then reveal the cards. If there are red cards, skip to I knew it. If no red cards, skip to what have I become. So there's two options. If you trust him, you're going to roll a 10 sided die. And there are no red cards, you win the fight. Continue to I knew it. The next one's going to be the Ranger Tower. And this one, you're going to be staying alive. So you're treated by Otis. 
The counselors must survive 13 days in the tower. Place the body count marker at 13 and move the body count upon one space towards zero for every day that passes. Do what you must to make it a day zero. So if you starve, one day passes, they each roll a six-sided die, you may get injuries or tighten your belt. If you snap, a desperate counselor may eat one of their campers or attack a counselor. If unarmed, use a four-sided die, panic equals death. Feed, if a counselor or camper dies, all living counselors return to the health and four days pass. And I made a tummy bound. Day zero is seemingly satisfied Otis disappears into the woods. The surviving characters win. However, they claim to have no knowledge of their friend's whereabouts. So that's a little bit of an ending there. It's kind of gross. Uh, the barn, you're going to see here, carving station. Hide in a pile of discarded bodies. Each counselor rolls a six-sided die. You're either hidden or you're caught. And you might jump down to either fresh meat or the right moment. Uh, fresh meat, tonight's menu. Uh, Otis cards up a random fresh meat. Uh, four-sided die, you can have an injury or Otis strikes. Uh, if you go to the right moment, Otis finishes killing all the fresh meat. All hidden counselors then sneak attack with a 10 plus 2. In the end, if Otis is defeated, the counselors win, but refuse to eat meatloaf for the rest of their life. So you're going to try to hide in this one and not get caught. Last one will be the boat, and you can have choppy waters. So floaters, any counselors who missed the boat have been caught. they are now floaters tied and bobbing in the water. You have a heads up. The carrier must roll four once for each floater bobbing. Uh, save the floaters put on boat. One to two, the floaters killed, and Otis strikes. On the boat, panic equals death. Before each fight, each rope carrier may attempt to snag Otis. You roll a six-sided die, and you have a result there. If he's defeated, all living counselors win the game, and you would end. So what do I think about expansion number five? This is the most adult-oriented of them. Most of the cards are going to be rated R, which yeah, it says right here it's rated R. It's going to have some of the stuff. Jason character is really neat because he can flip over to be a bad guy and be a killer in the game. And I do like it has the additional finales. This game needs so many finales. That's what keeps the game fresh and interesting, and this one adds more of those. I do like the snuffed cards that you can add in. It adds a new dynamic to the game and has some permanent abilities for Otis. So I think it makes it a little bit harder for, I mean, a little bit harder for the counselors, which is fine. It might balance it out through card use and etc. But this is a pretty good expansion to add in. I like expansion number five quite Thanks a bit. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.